Lads, before the video starts, if we can smash 300 likes on this video, you're going to get yourself a double upload today. So 300 likes, double upload. Let's get into the video. What is going on, guys and girls? My name is Van Gilf. Today, we've got for you 100,000 coins, Germany slash Bundesliga squad builder. The reason I've got it is Germany slash Bundesliga is because it's not full Bundesliga and it's not full German. It's a mixture of the two. Uh, in goal, we've got Testegen, plays for Barcelona today. So we've got the first German not playing in Germany. Um, I... I think he was actually okay. I mean, he's similar to Bird Leno in the fact that he's got quite good reactions. Um, him and Bird Leno are probably my go to German goalkeepers from now on because Manuel Neuer is so expensive for what he is. First centre back we've got is Jerome Boateng, who is very expensive, but I have to say he really is worth it. He put in some very good tackles. He's quick, he's strong, his card is a lot better this year than it was last year, and he's had a pretty decent upgrade as well, so it just goes to show. The other centre back we've got is uh, Howardes. I had a bit of a pickle on who to choose for the other centre back. I decided to go for Howard Ez because he looks like a pretty decent card. The only problem is he's got 66 pace but the plus side is if you've got him next to Boatang he's going to make up for that in the terms of Boatang is very quick and Howard Ez is is still decent. We've got Gross Kreutz on the right hand side. He was actually a midfielder last year. He is literally Mr. Versatile. He seems to play everywhere in real life but at right back he was pretty decent. On the left hand side we've gone for Marcel Janssen, you could go for Schmelzer if you wanted, you go for any left back, Iogo is in form at the moment, you could try him, he also plays for Schalke. The CDM we've gone for Sebastian Rode, the new Bayern Munich player, last year he played for Eintracht Frankfurt I think and I didn't notice much of his card last year, this year it was quite a decent card though, he's the, one of the only very fairly pacey centre defensive mids from that league. He's a natural centre defensive mid by the way, so you don't have to change anything. We've got Gundogan as the first central midfielder and this is him showing that he can be quite defensive as well. I did enjoy using him, the only problem was he's a little bit injury prone. Other than that he's great, look at the dribble in here. Past two free players and he slots at home for a nice goal, but his card, his card was very enjoyable to use. On the right hand side we've got a guy called Castro. Doesn't sound very German, he sounds more Spanish to me, but he was actually quite good. His dribbling was pretty decent. We got one clip of him there where he scores a nice penalty. This is a dribble I've been talking about. You've got two defenders marking him there. He does his little trickery and gets through the middle of them both. So it was pretty decent. It wasn't great defensively, but he was okay going forward. On the right hand side, you've got Mr. Germany himself. You've got Thomas Muller. He's going to be the top goal scorer in German at World Cups. So there's no doubt about that. It's going to happen. At such a young age, he's got so many goals already. On FIFA, he's pretty decent. I would love him to be a striker, but at the moment, he's a right midfielder. But I did get a couple of goals of him from right wing, so that's pretty decent. On the left-hand side, we've got Andre Schorler, who scored a very good goal for Germany at the World Cup. And we get a very nice finesse finish right into the top corner of him there. However, I don't know if he was worth the coins. I didn't see much of him. Maybe that was just the way I played, but... I don't know, he, he might be worth changing. Marco Royce is far too expensive. Striker, we've gone for Malapa. You could have Closer, you could have Gomez, you could have whoever you wanted there. I've decided to go for Malapa because I had somebody tell me he was a very good silver striker. And silvers are definitely OP this year. He was a very good player. I did enjoy using him. Just a big, strong brute up top. And sometimes you need that in a team, especially with wingers, because you get to cross to them now. Anyway, guys, 300 likes on this video. You get yourself a double upload. Comment down below if you would change any of the players. Comment down below if you've got any leagues or anything you want me to try out next. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you next time.